Hello, my beautiful ladies. Today, I'm continuing our conversation on boundaries, and I haven't decided what I'm going to title this yet, but I'm thinking if you struggle with the words, don't skip the script. And here's my opinion on this. I've heard some people say when it comes to boundaries and setting and honoring boundaries, you don't need the words. You can just skip right to holding the space. Um, and as long as you have your own internal boundaries, you can skip that step. I agree with that if you have, if you've already are comfortable with your boundaries. Um, and second, if you grew up in a country or culture or city where you often saw people standing up for themselves, right? Not maybe necessarily that passive behavior or you were around women in your community, like whether it was your mom, your aunts, um, your grandmother, and women who you witnessed often standing up for themselves. Because when you're a child and you're exposed to this, I feel like you don't need to learn the words because you, you're already absorbing it, right? You're seeing it. But if you grew up in a culture or city where you did not see women, often standing up for themselves. Maybe the culture of that community is for women to be more polite and courteous and hospitable, at which often can mean being more passive. And if you didn't get to see women like this, it is difficult to use your voice because you haven't learned the words. And again, I've said this before, it's not just what you say, but it's how you say it. But if you don't even know what to say and you haven't grown up in that culture where you're exposed to that often and you've got those quick comebacks, right? Um, you know, cities that I feel like are really good about having quick comebacks and standing up for yourself. Um, these could be cities, especially in the US, like Boston, New York, Chicago, it's common and it's almost expected, right, in those cultures. In cities that are more in the South, especially for women, you're expected to be nice. Your response is supposed to be um, more courteous and polite. And so sometimes this can get us into trouble and this can get us to where we're struggling with not only setting boundaries, but honoring our boundaries in the moment if we haven't learned those scripts. So if, again, so if you've been exposed, I, I say go for it. And if you've already got your boundaries um, set and you're rocking and rolling, fantastic. But if you're still finding yourself struggling, I would encourage you not to um, not to skip the scripts. Um, practice using your voice, getting comfortable with the words. And to be honest, at the beginning, I just had to get comfortable with the words. And then later, once I knew the words to say and those scripts, then I could have the energy and capacity to focus on how I said it. So it was a little bit bumpy, right, at the beginning. Or maybe I was a little direct, right, and it, it you know, I had to work on it. It takes practice, right? We're learning in layers. So I'm interested, what is your opinion on boundaries? Do you feel like, do you agree with me? Do you feel like you should learn the scripts and also, how comfortable are you with the words in the moment? Um, and also, um, I will link some uh, videos in the description box below to, that goes more into boundaries. If you're interested in me doing more videos on this topic and diving into it deeper and maybe going into what some of those scripts may look like, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear... Um, how your boundaries are going. Do you feel confident with your boundaries and you've got it? Or are you still working on it? So I hope everyone's doing well and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.